Hello everyone, I'm Logan23 and you're joining me for Isekai Demon Waifu, a game that you're going to get a load of fun playing. If you happen to have any questions about this game, drop them down in the comment section below, but I'm going to go through my normal daily routine to get the most out of this game, as well as give you guys tips and tricks and just the basic essentials that after the tutorial play in this game, you'll have free reign. And it'll kind of be disorienting because this is a game that I really haven't seen much of. Um, and it's something that I myself had to get a grasp on. Now, I am currently level 9, which we're going to quickly see that it takes a lot of effort to get up to. As well as 3 million influence. Now, influence is raised a number of ways. One of which is getting a subordinate up higher levels, but also giving a subordinate potions. Now, as you can see here, I have quite a few of these, and they range in quality. When they first start out, they're just normal, just characters, and you upgrade them. You can upgrade them one level at a time, or you can hit the little button and upgrade it ten levels at a time. Now, there will be chances where you will get miracles, which will give you a bunch of levels. Say, like, you leveled up once, it will give you ten levels. If you level up ten, it'll give you, like, twenty or more. It's really cool um, that there are RNG proc things that don't really hamper your playtime or playability if you don't hit the RNG. But it's nice nonetheless. So here you'll see right here, if I hit upgrade for 10 levels, right there it raised my power up quite a little bit. And it also gave her a bunch of attribute stems. So another way you can raise her attributes as well as raise her power is you can go and use a potion. Now Chaos Elixir is something that gives a random ability. So no matter what level, and by the way there are um, different levels here as you can see there's Chaos Elixir 1, 2, 3, it raises anywhere from 100, 500,000, there's 5,000, 10,000, I'm sure there's even more that I haven't got to because the game is pretty fresh to be real. But as you can see here I have quite a few of these and they're fantastic. And you can go to each and every one, and you can not just see the wonderful artwork that the developers have done, which is quite cool. I mean, it's it's a lot of inventiveness and everything else, but there are a lot of characters that just... It's it's like, I love Sunflower Seeds, right there, she's my girl, okay? She's, she's just enjoying them. But there are a lot of characters. And then also, yes, as you can see here, there are clothing things that you can end up getting, and they also substantiate substantially boost your character and we'll get to that here in a second as well but not just is there a subordinate system where this is a system where these are people who will go in and they will fight for you or these are people who will help with negotiation they'll help with trade they'll help with you know your demon troops and things like that which you can see i have 200,000 or 200 million excuse me almost troops I have um, a lot less food because you have to go in here, which I'll go ahead and show you. You go to your office, and your levy is where you will, for crystals, um, by the way, this number starts a little lower than 11, and it quickly regenerates, but nonetheless, uh, I think you start out at like 7 or 8, and then you click on this. We may even get a proc, I hope we do, no. But as you can see here, I have 206 recovery things. So I can recover 206 times, and that applies to all of these levies. But basically, as you can see here, based on my symbol here that is raised by your subordinates as well as your consorts, which we'll get to consorts here in just a minute, that substantially raises your crystals. The same for negotiation with crop growth. So you hit these 11 times, same amount of time to regenerate, 30 minutes, 206. Now, you will need meat, and then the leadership icon gains that many troops. So, really, you've just got to make sure to have that much meat on hand, otherwise you won't be able to do a levy for your soldiers. Which meat, again, as you just saw, is pretty easy to come by. Now, let's just say, for instance, you are running a little low on meat. You're running a little bit low on crystals. You really want to win that event right now. You can go over here to Council. As you can see here, allow to change jobs. You you give a there's a kind of like a little choices aspect of this game, where you can hit allow him to change jobs. I personally go for the exp because as you can see here, I'm back down to seven million meat. I'm perfectly fine right now, especially figuring I have a wonderful balance 
of leadership, trading, and negotiation skills. So I, I always stay on top. I never really have to select these. So I typically go EXP, and EXP is something that is very crucial um, to leveling your Demon Prince, and we'll get to here in just a second. As I told you, it's going to be very long and hard road for that. Now for crystals, I always do the crystals because they have crystal events where you want to at least have a decent rank. And I'll show you the ranks here in just a second for that. Now troops, right now again, we have 200 million troops. I'm good. EXP, king right now. It's really king. Um, crystals though, now see as you can get one of those chaos potions. Again, I pass on that because how many you get. The EXP is, is king. It really is king. Crystals, that's, that's my go-to though for items and whatnot on the councils, okay? So again, you go over here to your EXP. As you can see, as your level increases, the EXP you needed <laughs> increased, but not just that. By every level that you get, as you can see here, increases your levy, increases your crop, your soldier, your council, your friend limit. Friend limit, not really that hard of a thing. I mean, really it's not. Um, how, unless you're really social and you really invite a bunch of people. However, the friend limit, it's kind of pointless. Um, and also, friends are kind of pointless. This isn't one of those games where you can send out a bunch of requests yet. The developers may add something in the future, but you can't really request anything from your friends. Um, you can request things from your guildmates. You can even request uh, things from people you ran into, and we'll get into those requests here in just a minute. But as you can see here, by increasing to level 10, I also get a new subordinate. Again, by getting a subordinate, passively increases your power. Then as you level your subordinate, as well as give a potions, it also increases your power. So keep that in mind. So next up is going to your embassy. So you will not have access to your embassy until you go to Expedition. Expedition, you will have to get through some chapters in this. Now this is fairly simple. I'd say stick to your um, dailies, but only after initially getting through some chapters. Um, initially, like the first like 10 or so chapters, really easy to get through. And basically for a journey, I'll go ahead and show you. You literally hit journey, it progresses one, all you have is your troops here that go against enemy troops, there's nothing you really have to do. You can literally leave this AFK and running and just leave the room, go get a coffee, come back, and eventually it'll get to that end enemy right there, which is a boss icon. That one you will have to, you know, hit skip or whatnot and have a little bit of dialogue. It does have a little bit of story too with it. And then you'll defeat the enemy with one of your subordinates. You have, keep in mind that if your main subordinate is not powerful enough, there is a secondary subordinate that comes in and can and will finish off the enemy for you. So do keep that in mind. So don't get discouraged if all of a sudden you're like, oh man, my subordinate can't you know, beat someone who's 10,000 power more than me. Your secondary subordinate, whichever is the second strongest, will come in and help you. So next up is your daily missions. As you can see here, I did the mining, I did this, you also gain EXP, you gain activity, you get the chests, they're fairly easy, and by doing the chests, you get the P, the four-leaf clover there. Now what that does is, it allows you to run into consorts that you can end up recruiting. As you can see here, we got a uh, 1.6 million troops, as well as a crystal. And then, again, I would encourage you to... The, the dailies are substantially easy, as long as you're active in the game. It's one of the, like, rarest games that I've seen, where as long as you're active, you can unlock 90% of the things in this game that, you know... Again, I always financially support a developer or whatnot if they earn it and they allow fair play and everything else and i gotta say this game is is one for that and then the fantastic artwork and everything else they do is just another thing that's fantastic now if your server has progressed enough and you're in a halfway decent like situation you can go to territory now by going to territory as you can see here right now one of the events is for the ancient city which is a new thing that there are having um servers for instance me i am server eight versus server seven and that's something that right now we're trying to fight over and basically whoever wins becomes a lord and gets titles and perks for the server and stuff like that now for instance right here i am part of this alliance i can go over here to oracle's peak and this is his main character that he showcases and then what i can do is 
then go over to here to the top selection and it's a development activity. Another choices-based thing. So I can reinforce the crumbling houses. I can let the demon troops do the reinforcement work. Or I can, I can let the harpies finish the reinforcement. So since we are trying to fix crumbling houses, it makes logical sense that we would have the troops do reinforcement work. You can see here, we got a really solid 5,000 um, ability chaos elixir. Really solid. Okay, and then you can go in here and you can also ask questions which is a constant like a daily quote-unquote new and nothing really changes so don't worry literally and figuratively about that you can also get um perks so daily blessings depending on like how many your server or your guild has so as you can see here right now we currently own two we gain 10 or uh, 10 percent power for subordinates as well as um you know the depermen so we have two of those so total 20 percent which does go in a lot of helpful ways as well. This one's a construction event right now. So large ice sculptures are the most famous product produced locally. Make large ice sculptures. Make the ice sculpture in a previous style. Make ice sculptures with new themes. I'll do new themes. So we got a scroll. Now in case you're wondering what the scroll is for, I'll go ahead over, over here and tell it, show you. But also here's another thing, is you can go over here to uh, bounties. And you can dispatch your tr uh, troops. If you have a dispatch thing, by the way. If I can dispatch one, why not? I don't need that many. And then as you can see here, here's your... here's your. Um, if you're ranked 1 through 20, which you will be at least ranked, as you saw here, there's a 20 out of 20. So, if you, depending on how strong you are, or how many people you send, or whatnot, you will get ranking abilities. So you'll get either eight of those, or one of those, 50 XP, and 50 glory tokens, or you'll get all the way up to 400 if you're lucky. Um, I'd say, figuring this is run by uh, Abraxas, Abraxas will get number one. Um, I will probably land bottom, because as you can see here, I only sent one. Um, I'm not going to tie up my other ones, because especially if I want to go over here and I want to run some other ones. That's that's how I look at it. But, hey, for the purposes of the video, just want to show you just sending one. Over here on your left side of the screen, you'll see uh, little events and stuff right now going on. Right now I'm ranked 39. And by going in here, you can get, as you can see here, these clothing things. Which will gain tattoo strength, which plays a lot of roles, and these are for your consorts. Which we'll get into here in just a second. We haven't got to the goody stuff yet. Okay. So these are a lot of things that you can get. And by the way, you see how it isn't just to rank one. You don't have to fight for that rank one. There's rank two. There's rank three. Rank four and five. You'll even get, you know, a smaller gift for rank six through ten. And whatnot. So right now I would land right here in 21 to 50. So I get a lot of good stuff. And eventually you're not going to have, let's say, you know, Abraxas wins, right? He's not going to go for the same costume again and again and again. And this game kind of says, hey, let someone else take the reins. Or at least let someone else compete for the top, like, five spots or something. At least give other people a chance. But the way you also increase your score is by going over here. And story and quest is something that is slowly unlocked by clicking on these stories. As you can see here, this will unlock tomorrow. And by doing so, once you play a little story and dialogue, it'll unlock for you. And then you'll get these quests. Now you can do go and get five of these tokens um, and use them, which I'll show you here in just a second. Um, for all you have to do is spend 10 over here. Um, these are just without spending any money whatsoever. These are super rare, by the way, the spending money ones. There's only two per event. And then by doing this, for your instance, your, your guild thing and, and whatnot, you can end up getting these companions. Okay, so keep that in mind as well. And then you can buy the event pack. Now, you can get a quite amount of gold. And I'll go ahead and, for the purposes of this one, just spend the 500. And then what you do is, is you go over here to draw. You select place one chocolate. And you get to select one of three place placements. Where would you like to put it? I think for the purpose of this, we'll put it in the right side. Boom. I got a ring, which we'll get to here in a second. Wow, he is really collecting the stuff. Lands on that. So those are all the things we got. We got a total of 130 point rewards. We also got a consort ring. We got a EXP. 
two potions, as well as one EXP. And we went up to rank 20. That's how simple this is. There's no science to it. There's no, you know, anything else like that. Very simple. Now, once you get through a couple chapters, as we talked about through Expedition, you can go over here to Embassy. Your first chest will be Deserted Village. I think that's for beating, like, chapters 10. Uh, Magic is, I think, uh, 20 chapter. This one's 30. This one's 40. Um, and as you can see here, these start unlocking... These are 70, 100, 140, and I'm sure there's going to be another chest down here on the bottom right eventually. But right now, again, this game is fairly new, and you click on this, you get a bunch of cool stuff. Now, library is something that you want to spend at least a little bit of gold here and there when you do get it, initially, because the library slots are fairly cheap. I'm going to click one click finish. You get talent EXP, and as well as PvP skill EXP which I'll show you both of those here in just a second, but then you can select a team. You can select whatever characters that you want to train to get those. You click auto research and that is it. You're done. You literally can walk away now for three hours. Okay. And by just doing some of this, look, boom, crystals. Okay. So going over here to items, I'll use one of these. As you can see here, you can select one subordinate, which gets EXP. And then one of these subordinates will get Arena EXP. Now there are two different things. And then over here to the scrolls, you synthesize. You get one random scroll that you can use by going back over here to items. Use it. We got a battle scroll. So for those, by the way, those are... Again, this isn't really complicated, even though it seems more complicated than it really is. It's really not. You can go over here to talent. You can select one of these abilities. Say small you know, hard worker. And as you can see here, there's your regular EXP there on the bottom, your talent EXP. Then there's the battle scroll we just got. Try not to use the battle scrolls if, say, for instance, I go over here to negotiation expert. If you have a bunch of scrolls and you just want to burn through them, fine. You may want to think about that. I would say no. The reason why I say no is Universal Scroll is a 100% bonus to level that up to a level 2, which will increase your negotiation by, as you see, 5 extra points. And that increases exponentially as you level it. Then there is the 5 star ability book. Again, something you would want to use if you have a 5 star um, thing, such as we see here. And then there is also the talent EXP. Again, it's something that you can increase via those orbs but also the library. The library is a substantially less, but it is something that is passive, and you just, as you saw, I just sent my worker on its way and just was Vamos. Now, if you go to a level 2, there's a 50% chance. These are where I would use some of your scrolls. Not all of them, but some of your scrolls. But I would definitely think about going through and finding other companions that are, like, one or two and go with the scrolls or whatnot. Like, she's a two. I want to find a one, okay? So you go through here and like, oh man, there's a one, balance up that, and as you can see there, level one, 100% chance. Just get it up there, okay? But keep in mind that a level one for each level that you increase only increases, so far, one point per scroll. But if you can, you, if you saw I had 30 scrolls of the one, plow some scrolls on a character. But don't use them all, because remember, you need one scroll per day to do the daily, okay? Next up is guild. If you're in a guild, you collect these guild missions as you see here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. You can do guild dungeons, where you can do all a bunch of crusades, which is really super cool. Um, and hopefully, eventually, we can get in the demon buffy one, but... There's also, like I said, guild management, guild construction, you want to do every single day. You want to at least want to donate 10 AXP to your guild. Next up is for the piece of resistance that you really are here for, is going over here and going to the harem. This is the cool part. Okay. So, vacancies, when that pops up, try and hop in one of these real quick. 
The reason why you want to hop into these is it will take you over to your Holy Kindred, which are, as you can see here, commemorative items you can buff up. Super cool Halloween themed stuff for me that I've seen. But you can also go over here and buff certain weapons, as you can see here. Um, this one will get uh, poor Orson forces, which go to certain subordinates and whatnot. Hot Spring is where you can go and take one character and just literally put them in here and let them just soak. It's kind of like Sekiro and letting someone just, you know, chill in the in the in the hot springs. That's literally the purpose. You get stuff that you can buff your abilities with. And private baths, I would save those for when you can get in the hot springs, if you can get a thing. So you click on the little heart bubble thing here, and you will get a little story for a consort. Now I'm sure I don't need to explain the term and reason for consort, but look for information on the mushroom dragon. So this is where you will go and try and get an item for one of them. So unfortunately we need to do research. We can't speed up research, by the way. You can't speed it up, no matter how much you try. And as you can see here, you can get two additional spots by going and doing um, Luxury Month card or Supreme Lifetime card. Those are pay things. So the consort system is fairly simple one. It's kind of like for those of you who want to see your waifus, as you can see here, they're all clothed and they're all proper to the best of the abilities. But again, really great artwork, really great waifus. We can go on a random date. Insinuative, suggestive poses and or mushroom right there. Which, I don't really need to tell you what that means. And you gain blessing energy. Let's go on two more random dates. Now that's a miracle. That means we're gonna gain a ton of blessing points for this one character right here. Not as much as my my waifu back there, but this one, yes, it's a Rudolph. Okay, we got a thousand. Typically, you would only get a couple hundred with that character. Fiatum is one of my strongest. See, as you can see down there, she has 535 demon strength, as well as affection's pretty high too. So, unfortunately with this character, with this costume, currently it does not, they, they haven't fixed the voice acting issue. Otherwise she has a really great voice and again, waifu, okay? And she's one of the first that you will most likely end up getting. I believe it's universal. I think she's like the strongest one you get at the beginning. So you click on Blessing, and depending on the affection, is where your demon waifu has. Okay, your little your little consort. Those are the ones that don't go into battle, but they buff ones that do go into battle, or do trading, or whatnot. So you remember the hot spring stuff, right? The little stuff you get for sitting in the hot spring? Well, there's that. You star up abilities. That's how you star up your abilities. Right there, I can increase this till star three to give out an all-out increase to all of the stats i'll go ahead and do that and as you can see here that increases your power as well we need 72 for the next star up which is four remember you can max up all the way up to star six but it's going to take a lot to get that now what you can do is, is you can use your blessing energy i have 11,000 right now which you, you can tell is going to go pretty quick okay However, one of the things I'm trying to focus on right now is combat ability. Okay. Boom. Done. We are now out of blessings. These little red dots down here are everybody else that has the ability to have points put in. As you can see here. Boom, 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 boom. Out of energy. Now, as you can see here, we do have enough to buff her little combat thing. Just a little, just a tad. So I'll go ahead and do that. Again, increases your power. Like, this game is fairly simple. It's not that hard. Giggity. But... And for those of you who, who like, you know, waifus and, and whatnot, and, and having a little bit of fun, but also really, like, it delightfully and well-done artwork, this is a game that definitely was 
would probably be for yours, and hopefully that I've showcased off well enough that you guys are, it's, your interest has been piqued enough to be like, you know what, this isn't a bad game. Like, I play this literally every day. Um, it's one of those fun games, and you don't play a lot. Like, again, what I'm doing right now, for you guys, is I'm showing you literally my routine every single day. Now I have let blessings go a, lo a little, otherwise I'd be done right now. And that's it. Now, you can take these on manual dates. The manual dates will give you a bunch of blessing, as well as some affection. As you can see here, uh, affection, the higher affection, the higher construction, the concerts, and the areas that will give, giving items, meaning on outings, etc. Demon tattoo strength is basically more luck. It's as simple as that. Literally more luck, but also can increase by giving concerts items. So you can go down here to gifts, and as you can see here, I have quite a few demon strength ones, but when it comes to consort items, I'm, I'm kind of saving them for, uh, like, there's events. So, you don't want to just rush out and spend all of your items, but when it comes to things like this, you, you just want to keep a mindful eye on it. So, I, I try not to let the, I need to make that 115 versus 111, if you have horrible OCD like that, you, this game is not for you, because as you can see here... Yeah, these, these numbers are really off. However, your waifus are, are quite terrible. I like this one because it's the very typical, cliche, uh, kind of like tomboy look. But at the same time, when you go on a date with her, as much as I want to, she is one of those kind of... Uh, basically think Mulan. Okay? She's, she's hiding a lot. Okay? She's... And Hillary is, is quite... Nice. A lot of these waifus are quite nice. I'm just being real with you right now, okay? So again, everything is done in here. We move out. We go over here. Uh, excuse me, not there. Outing. This is a cool little feature. So you hit outing. You explore the land. It takes you somewhere. Boom! You run into someone. You get one affection. First, I thought my king was rude and boring. But not you. I like you. And that's it. Just a quick little thing. When you initially meet them, though... They will give you a long story, they will give you affection, they will do this other thing. You can also meet, like, here, right here, Ryan City. This is someone else who's holding another city. You get EXP, you get potions and whatnot. You get a lot of cool stuff. Okay? There's some, there's some affection right there, and that's that. And again, affection helps you in a numerous ways. Then you go over here to, as you saw, the whole um, demon strength and demon affection thing. So these are areas, these are pieces of land that you own, okay? That you build with your own two hands. One tap, bam. As you can see here, the XP increases. You do that every so many hours. And the reason why you do that is one, it increases your strength, but also there's events. Right now there is the um, Area Trade Points event. This one will give you a title, nothing huge, but it does give you um, general seals which are used to recruit some really stellar, really strong characters. There's also um, clothing exchange coupons which you use to get clothing for your consorts, which I'll take you here to, but basically they really boost your strength. Right now I'm ranked 142 in the in the multi-server event. So again, not doing too shabby, I might say so myself. But as you can see here, you can go over here, and you need 500 of these to buy her this outfit. This outfit will give her 400 demon tattoo strength. Okay, that's a permanent thing as long as she's wearing that outfit. And then this one... I love the bat wings, I really do. That's super cool. 400 for her as well. Then you can also go over here and buy subordinate clothing as well, which is something that they recently added um, into this. As you can see here, this will um, repeat uses, will talent skill the uh, Amibicent up to level 5. So that also unlocks uh, level 3 clothing for her. Completely random. Right now, it looks like the next piece of clothing will be uh, for the ninja subordinate we have. And again, a lot of these, you can earn the gold. 
and there's no limit. So if you stockpile a bunch of gold, you want to buy the influence, uh, you know, pack for uh, there's a hundred uses. Do keep in mind it's about a 48 to 72 hour time limit that you can use. So basically, they change up all the con uh, the, all the time. Everyday things. These are things that you will use, kind of like the cocktail party, name change if you want, standard trade agreement, chaos sales, perfume to increase your chances, luck for outings. As you can see here, there's a lot of stuff you can get, and just with a little bit of gold. Don't pour through your gold. Again, I'm giving you tips and tricks of things that I do to keep myself where I am. Don't pour your gold, okay? And then if you happen to financially support this game, you will get VIP. Unfortunately, I wish there was a system. I think that the only flaw of this game is there is no VIP system. There is no VIP system for you to earn, say, login points. Just 10 a day, man. Just 10 a day for putting in a, a, a daily login would be super cool. And then as you can see here, there's a lot of events that are right now. Just by you logging in, or doing trades, or council, or whatnot. And then here's a really cool one. I like this one. This one I'm not going to completely do because you will get a start fever, which I'd rather use on my mobile device. So if you are emulating, you might want to do this particular one on your mobile device because you can tap as fast as humanly possible versus using a mouse. But there is a ranking system for this. Everything has a ranking system. And as you can see here, it's really not that hard. It's really not that hard. If I was to go fully into this, do the star favor and everything else, I would be up back to between uh, 20 to 40 as I bim. And that's pretty much it besides, you know, doing like underground exploration, which you click on this, depending on your strength, which right now we would have a lot of casualties. I'm going to pass on that. You can get a bunch of items that are random, though, but you can get a bunch of items. Um, I wait on that one. Wasteland, there is an event that happens. These are everyday static. So you can see here at noon to 2 o'clock Eastern, there's Valiance. Very easy. It depends on your subordinate strength. And then late at night, um, between 10 and 11 p.m., there is a dragon that is based on your subordinate strength as well. You go in, you do as much damage as possible, and you leave. And that's pretty much it. As you can see here, we're almost done with all of these. I mean, I'll do one uh, quick talent arena with you for you guys, just so you can see. It's very easy. This isn't some, you know, huge combative-like thing. So I picked her. She's my strongest subordinate out of the three options that I was given. They will give you random, and the more you have, the more randomized it'll be. So you want to make sure I typically have six to seven subordinates I'm training at any given time, especially via the library. Again, that's the best way to get PvP points besides doing actual PvP. So I always say grab the first stat boost right there. The attack, 50% for three orbs. You can see here I have 150 orbs. Now, when you see these opponents, the blue is the toughest, the green is the weakest, white is the weakest of them all. I'm going to attack this green one. You can either let this play out or you can skip. So I took a little bit of HP laws, but I'm going to keep going. I figure, like, figuring out as high up as I am, I'm eventually going to lose this. I can either regen a little bit of HP and maybe, just maybe, buff myself up enough to get, like, through this guy's, like, half teams. You can see there it took quite a hit. There are some characters that are a lot better built, clearly. And it also depends on your level, it also depends on stats, it depends on a lot of things. Here's blues. Now I look at this and I go, I take a chance, I'll heal 10% of my HP, and I'm going to say the guy on the right. Okay, did a good one. I'm going to go ahead and restore 5% of my HP, pick the girl on the left, skip it. And then again, depending on if you want to use orbs, to go into the next one and at least try and get as far as you can that's what you want that's that's what you can do i'll buff five percent of hp and just just keep at it again here we are with the blues i'm going to do the girl on the left i feel like the pirate's pretty up there they look like they favorite um ninja it's a pretty tough one i'm gonna go with the little girl let's see if we can beat it 
There we go, not bad. Now, the girl on the left, as well as the far right, pretty tough ones. The guy in the middle depends on how well you handle him. Uh, we're just going to wing it. You can only pick one out of the three things on the right side at any given time. I really haven't lost that many orbs. Okay, I haven't really lost orb medals, but... I, I Oh, this one's going to be tough. Um, I am going to go with the girl on the right. I will probably lose, but we'll see. Okay, actually, they didn't train it as well as I thought. Guy on the right's back. Um, I'll go with crit. I'll go with the middle. Not bad, not bad. This guy's buffed a lot of his characters. The more blues I'm seeing, the more he's thinned himself out. He's really thinned himself out. Uh, middle. Gaia. This guy's really thinned himself out. Which is a good thing for me. Keep in mind. It's a really good thing. Now, this one, general in the middle. I don't like the generals. Generals are pretty tough, typically, especially for level 150+. plus. I'm gonna go with the girl on the left. Nice. Like I said, he's really thinned himself out. I'm actually gonna skip the HP. Mmm. Mmm. Well, or right. Yeah, we're getting. So I, I, this is where I say, at this point, how low our HP is, how bad luck we've had with the stat boost. We haven't had that many heals pop up. I could use 20 gold. Heal 14%, but I feel like the 14% isn't going to pass. It's just not enough. But I also don't want to use the gold. I really don't. Because gold is something that is like most currencies in other games. It's just tough to come by. I'm going to go with the gargoyle on the left. Let's see. Yeah. That one was pretty tough. And you can always see the stats. So his crit was almost equal to mine. His magic was... Uh, equal to mine. So he was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That would have been a pretty good fight even at full health. So as you can see here, we got 30 passive points. And then we also get arena chests, which give even more talent EXP points. And then you can go into another fight in one hour. Or, if you want, you can go over here. You can use a challenge token. You can do a little revenge. And this one will use these... Try and cherish those, because our events for PvP and whatnot, too. Um, but my battle record, as you can see, here, it's pretty It's pretty much in a, in a plus. Pursue, I haven't seen much of. And then you can, um, you get free, four free every day, and then you can use also a different type of token for more arena points. As you can see here, 118. Pretty good. Pretty good, in my personal opinion. Especially for... Like, how many people you're playing against. Quite a few. So, that pretty much is, in a nutshell, I'll show you guys one other thing. Um, recently, they did, you know, add cross-server influence where you can chat with other people you're fighting. Um, or you can do chats, PMs again. These are things that you can do with anybody. Um, they do not have to be your friends. Clearly, as you can see, there has been nothing absolutely in this game that I have shown you. That requires you to have a friend whatsoever. Now, if I go over here, where is she? So this is your this is your general, okay? As you can see here, most of her abilities pretty solidly strong. She has a really good mixture. She's a very military-minded um, general, and then you know the nakedness. <laughs> So you can buff her, you can buff the PvP, again you can use uh, orbs. So by using one orb, got her to PvP skill 11, which did increase her crit to 2.1, crit damage to 115, and just by that one little orb. Pretty cool. It really is pretty cool. And again, you can use potions, you can use, you know, and here's the buffs, by the way, that your generals give. Now these are very unique buffs. But right now, as you can see here, um, we have the Aura, which hasn't been upgraded yet. As soon as it's level 1, it increases all attributes by 5%. However, currently, with this particular general, is the 5 Demon Generals. A military ability of 10%, next one will be 20%. 
but for each obtained Demon Lord, this buff increases one level. So if you get all five of them, that would be 50% for your damage that you'll be doing. So in order to get those, you go over here to the Generals. As you can see here, you have all five of these. You select like this one, and this is her. She even has a little explanation. And this is the buffs that she gives. So for her, um, consume seals to increase all attributes by 5%. So pretty much this, the gist of it is the same. But see, here's some of her abilities down here. A little bit different. So super cool. Uh, there's him. Like, I think this, some of these are cool. This reminds me of Diablo. It really does. I think some of these are really, really cool. Listen, the reason why I went with her is, let's be real, we're playing this game for waifus, okay? We'll, we'll, get, we'll get the bad boys later. We'll get the bad boys later. How about that? But without further ado, I hope you all did enjoy this video. Again, please make sure that if you happen to have, happen to have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. Um, I will be more than happy, more than glad to assist you in any way possible, but pretty much I feel like this video, up until there is like a buff or they add more or whatnot, pretty much sums up this game. I did everything. Um, besides showing you that every day you also want to touch your alchemy lab, it's kind of like a nice little login thing. You touch your pot, you get seven, or uh, excuse me, one potion, uh, 30 gold, another way of getting gold, and then for whenever you hit chess, um, after you've done this for 14 days, which again is a login kind of like a once a day, you get the, you know, little added bonus of, the, of doing that. And then yes, after 21 days this will reset, you will get even more buffs, and it will just continue. Aside from that, I pretty much have summed all this up, I believe. Um, again, any questions, drop them below. Once again, I hope you all did enjoy the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Head down to the description below, links to social media, Discord, and a few links to support me and my content. Please consider becoming a subscriber of this community. I do a lot of this content, um, a lot of it, like a lot of variety of content. So please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Catch you all later. Peace out.